Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Trayton Siegert of Gladwin Hockey. How's it going? Going pretty well. Doing, uh, well, that's good. Um, So going into, you know, of course, uh, you know, coming off a, uh, this is kind of like a new like era for, you know, with, with for you because, uh, you know, for the first time in a while, Gladwin Hockey uh, is back. Uh, this is the first year that, that the program has been there. I know it was around a few years ago. Um, what What is it like to just kind of see, you know, this program come back and yeah, you're a hockey player yourself. Um, what was, uh, what was it like to just uh, to have, you know, kind of your senior year to play for your, your school? Yeah. Um, it's awesome to get it, get the program back up and running and uh, see, you know, when we come off the ice, there's always little kids lined up to give us fist bumps and everything. And it's cool just to kind of restore, restore the culture, I guess, and create a new one of high school hockey for our school and uh, make it interesting and fun for the little kids to come out and have something to look forward to. Did you ever think that you'd be playing, you know, high school hockey? I mean, I know it's, not been that long since you know when the program was when the program was when the program was gone um but just to get it back what what is that like for you yeah i uh to be honest we my dad has been to countless uh school board meetings trying to get it back and up and running with a few other coaches and it just didn't look very promising um but then finally this year there was some school board changes and people were ready to go for it so they gave us the opportunity and I'm forever grateful for them for giving us that opportunity to show them that we're a different team and it's we're just ready to play hockey and have some fun so yeah I mean you guys have traveled all across the state to play I mean even as far as no as far as Novi um down here in southeast down in southeast Michigan what was what's that like to just go to uh go to places and and just see all these different kinds of teams yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, not a, a hockey isn't as big as something like soccer or football in uh, places around here. So there's a lot of co-ops that um, are together. So different schools will come together and make a co-op or whatever. And so you got sometimes you got to travel a little bit to find some teams. But you know when you do, it's kind of fun to get on the bus and travel with the boys. So it's pretty fun. Um, okay. So I know that obviously, you know, this is, this is your senior year and, um, you know, you only got a few more months left. What, um, are you, what, what, what are you feeling? Are you counting down the days? Are you, um, you know, or do you just not want it to end? What are you, what are you feeling? Yeah, definitely a little bit of both. Um, obviously don't want to continue, keep going to school, but, uh, in the sport aspect of I thought about it and I've had in my eyes, one of the best uh, sporting careers up to this point in my life uh, out of anyone I know so far. So that's it's been a blessing and uh, I definitely don't want to see it go, but I know that this is senior year or whatever and time to go on to bigger and better things. So, yeah, well, you know, your time, at, you know, a lot of people will, you know, I think when when people think of or say your name, they're always going to go to, you know, last year with the football championship when you kicked the field goal in. And what do you what will you always remember about that day? And the, that being like probably one of the biggest things that's ever happened to, you know, this town and really for everyone for the big, one of the biggest things that's ever happened in your life. Yeah. So uh, something I'll never forget about that day is just the. Uh the atmosphere of the crowds and uh, running out of the tunnel that first time, seeing 7,000 people from Gladwin just all cheering their heads off for us. You know, that's definitely something I'll never forget. And uh, it'll be cool that no one can ever take that away from us. You know, I'll always, always be the one that kicked the field goal. Gladwin will always be the team that won the state championship, you know. So it's just awesome to be able to say I was a part of that. Yeah. Um, to see soccer go as far as they did for the first time in a long time, what was that like to be a part of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, really refreshing to see. Um, I came in freshman year and we were we struggled a little bit, but each year we kept getting better and better. And 
it was cool to see the young freshmen step up and my grade I you know I was with them the whole time so watch them grow up and grow into stronger um better soccer players and we made the most of it this year so that was fun to play all these different sports what's that like for for you Trayton yeah um it's refreshing I guess it's kind of just a new I get to play a sport and then jump right into the next one so I'm not not really getting burnt out too too easily you know so I can always just that next sport coming up so it's something to look forward to yeah um you know how, like I've always wanted to ask this with all the things that you do how do you balance just being like you know competing in all these different sports and you know being an everyday kid uh, as well as going to school what what is that like for you yeah I uh I'm definitely more of a routine kid I, I guess I would say so when I'm when I just don't have a game or anything and I'm just sitting at home I just kind of get bored or whatever so the games and practices keep me on schedule and on task and I truly just enjoy being on the go and always working hard and going for that next uh next win so it's just awesome to you know work out with my buddies and go to practice most every day and just stay on stay on task with them and see where it can take us so yeah I mean you know what um you know this hockey season what's that what you know there's only a few more games left for you guys but you know this is kind of like you know the first playoff run that you guys have had in a while what's what's what are, what's that going to be like for you guys as you uh headed to the regional round in just a few weeks yeah um definitely going to be a challenge there's some there's some good teams we have to face but we've already played a few of them and um came out on top but right now i think we're sitting at uh the second seed in our region so we, we should uh play like the third seed i think and uh so yeah it's it'll be fun to go at that, try to take a deep run in the playoffs and go out with a bang, I guess. Yeah. And of course, what, uh, what, what are in terms of spring, what is, uh, what, what could, uh, you know, what plans do you have? Do you, do you plan to play any other sports and stuff there? Yeah. So I plan to play golf again. Um, two years ago, I won the conference championship and then last year I played three matches and then had to have shoulder surgery. So I didn't get to finish that, but I'm excited to get back at that and uh, hopefully make it to States this year and make a run. Yeah. All right. Well, Trayton, thanks so much for the time as always, and uh, best of luck the rest of the hockey season. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you.